Hello, wonderful people. Hope you all are enjoying your day. I'm sitting here just enjoying the view of the mountains, enjoying my pipe, and my fireplace. And just so happened, I ran across a story about Tamra Tamar Braxton. And this story was on TMZ that her boyfriend files for domestic violence, a, a or a personal protection order against Tamar Braxton. This young man named David Edivisio. And I started doing my research. I said, wow, that's, that's interesting. That is really interesting that this young man, 49 year old, is filing for a protection order against Tamar Braxton. Yeah, no, we all know Tamar Braxton. She was in the um, Braxton family values, you know, the younger sister of the legendary singing, singer Tony Braxton. So we all, we all know who Tamar Braxton is. And, um, I just found it interesting. She's been in the news lately with, uh, she was on the show, not The View, The Real, The Real. She was on that show. She was on um, Vince and Tamar. They had a spinoff show. But the thing about Tamar that I always seemed to notice was there always seemed to be some drama, just a cloud of drama surrounding her. You know, she had a suicide attempt allegedly her boyfriend called the police i remember that that wasn't told too long ago boyfriend called the police suicide attempt and then uh what else happened her she was married to vince vince uh, the producer and they got divorced she has a kid oh she cut her hair y'all remember that when she cut all her hair off it's like wow tamar tamar braxton so i was like man there's always drama there's always a dark cloud just seem to be over Tamar's head. And we all know no women like that. And I guess men too. But I was I want to do a video. Excuse me for a moment. I want to do a video where I talked about Tamar and the boyfriend. And I was gonna tell the young man, this guy David, David Adivoso, whatever is what is his name? I should have looked up his name. Hey, well let's Let's look at this boyfriend. He's a Nigerian businessman, and and uh, he seemed to have his stuff together. Now, when you say Nigerian businessman, that always raises an eyebrow. I say Nigerian businessman. Nigerian businessman came to America, twenty-one, two hundred fifty dollars in his pocket, and uh, got his uh, MBA, CPA rather, uh, at. And then he also uh, went to Harvard, said he youngest MBA student in one of the country's most prestigious Ivy League school. He got a job on Wall Street, Harvard Business School training for a large part of his uh, professional success. I think he said the young man, the man's a millionaire. He's 49 years of age. So I'm like, man, dude, you need to run. You need to run to the heels from which cometh your help because uh, this Tamar Braxton thing, you won't, you won't come up on top. So, so I'm, he files a per personal PPO protective order against Tamar. Allegedly, it's been reported that um, they were going taking Tamar to her mental health appointment and an argument ensued and he grabbed her and says something about a murder suicide. And then uh, she grabbed him and hit him. And then she didn't want to report it to the police. And then he went to the police first and filed a PPO order. Now it's always funny, not funny. It's always interesting when, when a man tries to file a PPO order or a man claims domestic violence abuse or a man claims that he is raped, but I was like, man, that's that's messed up. I was going to tell this David got to run for the hills, man. Don't look back. But I started doing my research. I started looking up what was going on with the timing. And 
And I happened to stumble upon this ad right here. Y'all look at this. Look at this. This is very interesting. I stumbled across this right here. We TV. Tamar Braxton, get your life. Y'all see that? When is the season premiere? Thursday. What's the date? Wednesday. At 9 p.m. So you mean to tell me the season premiere. Let me put this pipe down. Let me put out for I burn myself. You mean to tell me the season premiere for Tamar's Braxton We TV show is Thursday and on Sunday? Her boyfriend files for a personal protection order against her that made TMZ made the news. Something ain't right. Something just don't seem right here. Now, let's think about this. Y'all remember when uh, Tamar had that suicide thing, allegedly? Y'all remember that, right? Y'all do remember that, right? And do y'all remember the timing? The timing of that suicide call that the boyfriend put in, the boyfriend called the suicide uh, police line, and on the line he also mentioned the contract that uh, uh, Tamar Braxton had with WeTV. And guess what? The timing of that call just happened to be prior to the start of the show. And they pushed the show back. And people say, oh, Tamar Braxton, I hope you get help for her. Hope you find somebody, you know, get your health, your mental ability, blah, 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 blue, blue, blue. And now it here is two days, three days before the start of the show, premiere of the show that was pushed back because of the suicide. Now all of a sudden, the boyfriend's filing for a PPO. I mean, come on now. Really, what's going on? Are y'all doing this for publicity? You know, when I stumbled across this thing, I was like, what? Joker's got a TV show they're premiering. Look at that. We TV. Season premiere. Thursday. That's tomorrow. My, my, my. Y'all are playing. Y'all playing with us, man. Y'all are, are playing games. First of all, this was done to get yourselves in the news and the blogs talking about you. Well, hey, y'all, y'all were very successful in doing it. But the problem I'm having with it is y'all, y'all are playing with some really serious subjects. All right. First subject y'all playing with, y'all playing with suicide. Well, did she really try to commit suicide? I don't know. But if she did, why, why would the boyfriend call and tell the, the 911 she, you know, my, my, she's passed out. She's trying to commit suicide and then go into details about a TV show and a contract deal with the 911 operator. Come on now. Y'all trying to get the word out. Then the show gets pushed back. And now come what? Two days ago, the boyfriend files for a personal protection order. And now guess what? All of a sudden y'all got a show that's premiering on Thursday. David, you're in on it. Tamara Braxton, shame on you, man. Shame on you. Shameless publicity stunts to get people to watch your show. Now, I guess it's working. People talking about you. You know, people talk about what's going on. I'm talking about it. Because I was like, man, you better run. You better run for the hills. Get away from that girl. She got a dark cloud over her shoulder, over her head, which she still may have. But dude, I think you're part of the program. I think you're part of the show. Hurt your cre credibility as a Nigerian financial planner. I'm just saying, let to hear what you all think. Is this a publicity stunt? Or do y'all really feel that being really abused by her? Okay, he's he's a self-made man. He's supposed to be a financial planner. He has his own money. They're in, they're in his condo. He's driving her to her mental health appointment. So he has his own means. I mean, it just smells staged to me. It just seems fake and phony. Speaking of fake and phony, I'm enjoying the fireplace. 
in my Aspen, Colorado home while smoking a pipe. Anyway, tell me what y'all think. Thanks for watching. Live, love, laugh. Love yourself, people. Be nice to others. Have a nice day. And guess what? Maybe I'll see you around the way.